If you're in need of additional prayer time this morning, our prayer room provides a quiet space for personal reflection. Prayer ministers are also available if you would like someone to pray with you. The children's Christmas Eve pageant this year will be a takeoff on the movie Frozen called Unfrozen. Unfrozen? Oh, I saw that! Yeah, anyway, it will be a part of the 4 o'clock service on Christmas Eve, and we want all the kids to be involved. They practice at 6 o'clock on Sunday afternoons and can always use more smiling faces. So kindergartners through 5th grade, come on out and join the fun. Yeah, it melts your heart. Will you please just let it go? <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. What? It's beginning to look a lot like what? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Christmas, you know, the decorations that we put on our sanctuary Christmas tree. They all mean something significant in the life of Jesus. Really? I didn't know that. Well, then come and join us for our Christmas service on Saturday, November 29th at 7 p.m. We'll learn about what the Christmas mean and decorate the tree. Then afterwards, we'll have a hot cocoa bar and lots of goodies. Sounds great. When is it again? Saturday, November 29th at 7 p.m. Okay, it's definitely beginning, beginning to, to look, look a lot, lot like Christmas. Hey, what's with the elephant? Oh, well, you know how they say elephants never forget? Well, he's here to help me not forget something. Oh, okay. And what's that? Well, he's here to help me remind me that I have a string tied around my finger. Okay, and what does the string help you remember? Well, that reminds me to uh, read the note that I wrote to myself. <laughs> okay, and what does that say? It says to uh, don't forget to trim the hedge hard. Trim the hedge hard. Are, are you sure? Um, oh, <laughs> wait, no. It says to turn in your pledge card. <laughs> I couldn't read my own writing there for a minute. All right. Okay, then. So, whatever it takes, folks, please don't forget to turn in your pledge cards. Make sure your address is on it. And remember, no one will know what you pledged except you and God. Thanks. Oh, today's the day. All these boxes of food need to be delivered this afternoon. Oh, hey. Okay, I've been working out. I'm ready. Let's start walking. Walking? We're not walking. We're using cars. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank goodness. Really. And we could really use your help. If you can stay this afternoon and help deliver some of these boxes, we'd really appreciate it. So meet here in the sanctuary after the 1115 service, and thanks. We're here this morning in our food pantry, which is doing an amazing job feeding an ever-increasing number of folks who need help. We want to thank you for supporting this ministry so faithfully because without your help, none of this would be possible. As we go into the holiday season, we expect to experience even more demands on the food pantry, so we really appreciate your continued support. If you've never taken a food pantry bag home, take one this week and bring it back filled with food and take joy in knowing that your donation will be a part of this expanding ministry. Or if you would rather, make a financial donation and we will do the shopping. And either way, Please pray for those who come to the food pantry that we will touch their hearts with every bag of food. You guys are the best. Thank you. Our Wednesday night dinner this week is a Thanksgiving feast and you all are invited. Come join us and our friends from the community as we celebrate the many blessings we have received. Dinner is from 5.30 until 7 and you can RSVP on your tear off panel or on our website which will help with the planning, but reservations are not required. It will be a feast to remember, so just come out and enjoy with us. Wow, what do you got there? Oh, hey John. Well, I took your advice about doing my shopping at the UMC Marketplace. It was easy and quick, and the church got a portion of everything I spent. Wow, that's so cool. So are you done shopping then? No, actually I still have a bit more to do. Hmm. Can I borrow your laptop? Sure. Thanks. Can I borrow your credit card too? Well, wait a minute. Every third Wednesday, we offer child protection training for those who want to work with our children or youth. This training is mandatory, so if you want to work with our kids and have not been through the training, mark your calendar and be here at 6.30 on the third Wednesday. And every fourth Wednesday, we have a connection Q&A at 6.30. If you have questions about CCUMC or our children's programs, youth or adult missions, or the Methodist faith in general. 
Are you interested in having your child baptized? Or do you want to make a deeper commitment to CCUMC through full membership? Then this is the place for you. Join others for an evening of questions and answers every fourth Wednesday at 6.30 in room 107A. Come for dinner and then come for the class. Child care will be available. Calling all bakers and sweet treat makers. The Wednesday night crew really needs your help. Our Wednesday night dinners have expanded and everyone likes a sweet ending to the meal so we could really use some help with desserts. You can cook on Tuesday evening or Wednesday morning, whichever works best for your schedule. We can help with converting your favorite dessert to feed a lot of people and we can even pick up your ingredients. Please contact Jackie Stone if you're interested or would like more information. So be sweet and help with our treats. In the Bible, in Matthew 22, Jesus said there are only two things you need to do. Love God, love each other. If you've done these two things, you have done everything you need. Only two things. So today, how are you showing that you love God and how are you showing that you love others? For more information, go to courthouselive.org. Well, this announcement is for all the courthouse men who like to eat, and that should be just about all of you. So the next Ordinary Men Dining Out event will be our holiday dinner. It's going to be on Thursday, December 18th at 6.30 at the Lynn Haven Fish House, and it's also open to spouses and significant others. Reservations are required and must be received no later than 4 p.m. on December 15th. You can sign up on your tariff panel or on the website. Contact Nick Moore if you need more information or bell extender. Come join us for great food and fellowship. 